everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie. I have a little bit of a cough and cold going on right now. Not COVID, thankfully. Um, today I have a Project Pan update. I'm doing um, a Project 10-ish pan for the year. It's rolling style, so as I use or um, as I use things up or as I hit certain use goals, I then can roll other things in. I say 10-ish because sometimes I have a few more than 10 products. I like to update these from the products that I've had in the longest through the ones that, you know, I just put in the last update. So I will leave my playlist and last update link down below. And I'll throw one of them up in the cards today, but today might be a little bit choppier of a video. Apologies there. Just this cough is not going away. All right, the item that I've had in the longest is an eyeshadow. It comes from the ABH Sultry Palette. I put in the shade Pearl um, in January, so it's been in this time. The goal is to finish up the eyeshadow, so Pearl is right here, and I will try to insert a clip of what it looked like last time, but I have cleared off the sides and the bottom, so I am just working with the top there. So the product is only at the top. It still is pretty thick. Um, I mean, it's definitely a slant, but up at the top, really against the pan corner itself, it's pretty much full. So I'm just working, you know, my kind of my way up at the top there, but I am really liking this. I use this for the inner corner of every look pretty much. And then on occasion, I will also use it just like all over the lid or um, <clears throat> sometimes I'll put like a darker shade like ember down. Um, which is more of like a dark kind of green brown and then I might add some pearl over it to lighten it up or at least in the center of the eye to make it pop a little bit more. So pearl is going strong. I do think I can finish it by the end of the year um, but I it probably will be in December that I finish it. So um, yeah, sultry palette going strong. This is always in every makeup basket because of this shade and I really like this palette. It is also my oldest palette. Um, <clears throat> I'm still sad that it's discontinued because I would totally repurchase this. Um, it's just a fabulous palette. So happy to have that in. Okay, the next two oldest products are both from May's update. So the first one is my setting spray. This is the NYX Bear With Me um, setting spray and my goal is to finish it up and I did finish it up. So um, I started here kind of at the top of the barcode and made pretty steady progress all the way down. I use setting spray. Um, every day in a couple of different ways in my makeup routine. So, so I do use this to set my face after using powder products, but I also use it, I'll put like one spray on the back of my hand and then wet brushes. Um, typically my liner brush, I use eyeshadow, I wet eyeshadow with um, setting spray to get a little bit more longevity, um, but I do use that to do my eyeliner, but also if I want to like foil a shade, I will use the setting spray to do that. But happy this is gone. It's not my favorite one. The other item from May is my lip liner. So this is the NYX um, lip pencil. I have the shade Natural. Mine is getting down there. I did just give it a sharpen um, because it was getting pretty dull before this. So um, I do have a sheet that I'll show you in a second, but I'm going to use this until I can't sharpen it. I don't think, you know, I'm actually going to get all the way down to the end. It'll just be when it gets too short to sharpen. <clears throat> but I do have um, it marked on this paper. So I have um, my most recent update there, as you can see. I would say I'm making pretty steady progress between each marking here. Um, and I'm really impressed with how much I've already used up. I mean, I feel like I've kind of used up like... I don't know, half of it or so. Um, so yeah, pretty pretty good stuff. Um, happy with that. This is a very easy lip liner to use. It is a natural color. I use it every day. I line my lips and fill it. I should say every day I wear makeup um, and fill them. And then I can put whatever gloss or you know lip balm or lipstick or whatever on top of it. I don't typically reapply this throughout the day. It's just that one use. So um, yeah, still going strong with this one. Still liking it. I have two products in still from June. So the first one comes from my Hourglass palette. This was the holiday palette last year. And I am trying to hit pan on the bronzer in here. So this is what the palette looks like. <clears throat> the bronzer, of course, is here. And I can see that the product is pulling away from the side. I'm going to try to zoom in here without blinding you. Like, can you guys see here that it's definitely pulling off? Um, I mean, technically, that is pan. I'm going to keep going with this. Um, until I can actually see like the lattice pattern of the baked tile. <clears throat> I feel like I'm probably, I don't know, a month or two away from that. Um, but I really like the bronzer. It's a very natural kind of 
Um, it's not matte, but it's not super shimmery. It's just got a little bit of a satin finish, so I'm liking it. So since I put this in in June, I've used it 64 times. Um, so yeah, really haven't reached for any other bronzer, but really liking it still. Okay, the other product I had in from June, um, this is a use goal. So my goal is to use this 15 times, which doesn't sound like much, but it is a red lipstick from ColourPop. This is the shade Trust Me. It is a true matte, like classic red. And I do like this, but I don't always want to wear red. Um, I've used this total of nine times. So I've had three more uses from last update to this one. So I feel good about that. I think my goal was to use it three times, so um, <clears throat> feeling good there. But I did kind of find a way to use this without wearing a full red lip. And so what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit on my finger and then kind of blot it on my lips. And it gives a little bit more of like a pink instead of a full red, which is nice. Um, I feel like that's a little bit of a hack, I guess, to kind of like try to use this a little bit more. Um, I really like it. I love the red. It's just not something I wear all the time. So nine uses. My goal is 15, so I've got six more to go. So maybe if I can use this, you know, two times by my next update, two times after that, and then a final two by my finale, I mean, I'd still reach my goal. So we'll see what I can do, but I'm hoping to get two to three uses out of this each month going forward. Okay, in July, I put in the blush from this palette. Um, I already had this palette out, so I figured I would work on the blush, um, which of course is here, and this is called <clears throat> uh, Mood Flush, is this one. Um, I do like it. It's a great shade. I especially liked using it kind of throughout the summer. Um, that was a good fit. I had a little bit more color on my skin. This is kind of a sunburn type shade, so I really like that. My goal was to use it 30 times. I'm filming this on the 14th. I have a total of 29 uses, so I'm going to use it tomorrow, and I'll hit my 30 goal. So I'm not going to... Um, keep this in for another month just for me to use it one more time. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to call this a success. <clears throat> like I said, I'll use it tomorrow. I'll probably use it more than that. I do like the blush and um, especially just when I have this palette out to do my bronzer, it's kind of nice to just have everything in here. So this one I am counting as, you know, a goal met. But I'm really excited about that because I've been um, trying to make sure I'm using each of my blushes and highlighters at least 30 times throughout the year to make sure that it's still something that I enjoy using, it's still a good fit, and just that I'm actually using all the products. So that's been really rewarding for me. Okay, also in July, I brought in my e.l.f. Bite Size Quad here. I have the cream and sugar um, version of it, I suppose, color story. And I am trying to finish up the matte shade in here that's kind of like the cream type shade. So this is where I'm at. Um, I don't have that much left as you can see. So I previously hit pan on this um, earlier in the year. <clears throat> Let me look here. Um, and so I restarted counting after I brought this back in. So since July, I've used this 38 times. I'm definitely going to finish it before the next update. Um, so I'll talk to you a little bit later of what I'm going to roll in. But look at all that pan. It is so exciting. This is a fantastic palette. I definitely would like to hit pan in the other two shades in here. I already have pan in the dark brown because I used it as a liner. But I would love to have pan in all of these and maybe even finish like these two up. I'm not sure if I'll finish all of the brown, but um, these two I would love to. It's just a perfect little you know, everyday palette. Like I said, um, not done yet, so this is still the priority, but I definitely think I will finish it before next time. It is getting thinner and starting to crumble just a little bit, so I'm trying to be very careful with how I'm pulling my brush in, um, and I just kind of, you know, pulling it down as I go. Okay, so let's talk about what I put in last month, and we just talked about one, actually. I didn't realize I did that, um, but last month I put in the brown shade in here to hit pan on, which I did accomplish. There's a little bit of brown this honestly is not my favorite brown to use as a brown liner um it's okay but I never felt like I could get the like opacity that I wanted um so I hit just a little sliver of pan and then kind of stopped it's just not my favorite I have other shades that I prefer to use for brown liner in my collection so that's where my focus is but I am happy that I did get another pan in my collection for you know increasing my pan percentage and making sure everything is looking more and more used. So did hit that goal. 
And then I also brought in a powder last time. So this is from Cover FX. This is the blotting powder in the shade Light. Um, this is a good touch-up powder, but it's not a perfect, like, powder for me to use all day. I do have oily skin all over my skin. It's not just my T-zone. Um, so I do have this little brush in there for when I keep this in my purse. Um, I've been using this as my main powder for, like, I don't know. The days that I'm actually working from home, I'm not leaving the house. Like Fridays, I wouldn't use this because I normally go out Friday evening for dinner with my boyfriend. Um, <clears throat> so I typically am using this like Monday through Thursday all over my face. And then I don't really always, you know, reapply when I'm at home. But I do bring this with me if I am leaving. So I already had pan. This is what we're looking like. I will try to put in a side by side for you. Um, but yeah, definitely getting pretty thin around there. Um, this is one of the things that I'm sure I could finish up if I like really was better about um, reapplying, but I'm okay with what I'm doing. I know that this is going to be easy for me to finish up probably in the next month. I think I can get this done because there's really like what's left around the ring is pretty thin. So this is going strong um, and will be in probably, like I said, I'll probably finish it by the next update. I would hope so anyway. Okay, so if you were keeping track, I reached my goal on three products. So that is the setting spray. I'm counting that I met my goal on the blush. And then I also hit pan in the brown shadow. So very exciting stuff. I am going to be rolling in five new items for my project pan. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. So the first one is kind of a replacement. So when I finish the like setting lid setting shade in this quad. I want to have something ready to go because honestly, I think I'll finish this in probably the next week. Um, there's not a lot of product in here, even though it looks like it, the pan is just so um, shallow that there's just, even though it's like kind of deep up top, there's just not much there. So when I finish this, I don't want to have to wait until the next update to um, <clears throat> keep track of something. So I'm just going to put this in and then you know, um, I'll start tracking my usage when I actually start using it. So this is a single eyeshadow from the Ulta house brand. I actually do like their shadow. Um, this is the shade white, or I'm sorry, pure as snow. Um, it has 1.7 grams in it. I have already hit pan in here. So um, <clears throat> I am starting kind of with that frame of reference and I'm hoping to be able to, you know, expand that pan quite a bit. This is really nice, even though it is a stark white, it's a little bit more like a translucent powder than an actual like pigmented white powder, if you know what I mean. But what I really like about these Ulta eyeshadows is that these are magnetic and you can easily pop them out. Like there's that little tab there. So I do plan to keep this packaging after I'm done with this pan of eyeshadow, just because this is so convenient. You know, if I just want to bring like one extra shade in addition to a palette or something like that. I have kind of an individual package instead of having to pack a Z palette. So <coughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is going to be rolling in um, again with the assumption that I probably won't start using it for another week or so. Then this will be the go-to lid setting type shade. I'm also going to be rolling in a, another lipstick. It is the lipstick I'm wearing today. Um, this is from Flower Beauty. It's the shade Cinnamon Crush. It's a matte. Um, it's not my favorite shade. This is also a lipstick that I've had in my collection for three years now. And I have a rule that any cream product, so any product that's not powder, I should say, I will keep for up to three years. And then at the end of that third year, so in December, I get rid of it. Because if I didn't finish it up in three years, I'm not going to finish it up, you know, in any much longer. So I do that just to keep my makeup relatively, you know, new and fresh. So obviously, yeah, I'm not going to finish this up. Um, I have been wearing it. Like I said, I have it on today. I don't have anything layered with it. I do prefer having a little bit of a layer gloss on top of it. But um, for today, I just slapped it on. I have been wearing this a handful of times prior to me filming this. So I was going to do 25 uses, but I've already used it seven times within the last, um, like since the beginning of September, I should say, um, cause I've been wearing it out. Like I said, my boyfriend, and I go to dinner every, um, Friday night, <laughs> Saturday night too, sometimes. And it's just been the lipstick I've been wearing out. So I think what I'm going to do is try to use this, um, 20 more times. We'll just say 20 cause I already know I have that usage. Um, and maybe I can find a way that I can use it. Uh, you know, that I might enjoy it a little bit more. I just, I don't know. The tone of it 
isn't quite right for me. But I'm going to try to use it, like I said, and um, this is going to be leaving my collection at the end of the year. So I just want to make sure that I get a little bit of use out of it. If I absolutely hate it or if it goes off or something, it still smells fine and works fine. I will obviously pull it out. Um, we're not going to mess with any expired lipstick. So <clears throat> there's that. Okay, I am also going to roll in another blush um, kind of to replace the hourglass one I was working on. And this one comes from the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Face Palette. You guys might remember this. I previously had the bronzer in my project pan this year. Um, but now I'm going to work on the blush. And I would like to use the blush 30 times. It is the shade beachy peach <laughs> and it's right here I lost the highlighter after repressing it a couple times or I hit paint on the bronzer so we need to give this blush a little bit of love um it is a nice color it does have a sheen to it um and it definitely is like I don't know it's one that I could um get away with you know kind of wearing probably a little bit higher on my face to get that sheen to be like a two-in-one with the like highlight blush type thing and I do like to do that time to time um so yeah I'm excited for this I also have my Milani uh nude blush in my uh makeup basket for the month so if I don't want to have kind of as bold of a blush I have that neutral option so I think that'll work out um so yeah 30 uses is what I'm going to go for for this one I don't suspect I will hit pan in that period of time but it will be nice to get a little bit more use out of this palette Okay, and for the last two items, I'm going to add in two more eyeshadows to work on. So the first one comes from my ABH Sultry palette. Again, this is my oldest palette, so I'm trying to kind of hit pan on all my favorite shades. Ideally, I would love to see pan in all these shades except for Bloom and Slate. These two are just like not my jam. I like to use them occasionally like in my crease, but to actually like want to pan them is something that I would never do so those two are just there but everything else I really love in here so I'm going to try to hit pan on steampunk um, this is the gold shade here I've been using it quite a bit lately as you can see there's uh, definitely a dip going in there so I don't know how much longer it'll take me to hit pan but I do really like this one and it kind of is like an antiqued you know gold in that it's a little bit more like greeny grungy or at least it's just darker maybe maybe a better description is like a bronze gold but this is a swatch of it here on my hand it is gorgeous I love the high shine of it um, I have blue eyes so I feel like gold and bronze really help kind of make my blue eyes pop um, <clears throat> so yeah I'm going to be rolling this one in with the gold to hit pan on it and um, I definitely think I can do that in the next probably like two months. Um, so yeah, Steampunk, I'm already working on Pearl and these two layered together is beautiful. So I, I think I'm going to have a good time and it just also helps me to stay in this palette quite a bit um, and maybe reach for some other shades. Like I really love the birch and twig mattes in here, the two browns. And with fall looks, I like to add golds with oranges because I just feel like they're really complimentary. So yeah, looking forward to that. And the other um, eyeshadow is from my Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop. This is my favorite palette. And I was talking about um, liner shades. So I need a new liner shade. I hit pan on this one. It also wasn't my favorite. I've kind of just been jumping around this month. Um, but I have decided which one I want to really focus on next. And it is the shade Bobbles, which is right down here. It does have a little bit of a micro glitter in there. But honestly, when you wet your brush and like apply it how I do, you can't tell. I do have a little bit of a dip started um, going kind of side to side there um, from when I've used it in the past. This has been in my pan those, not pan those eyeshadows, my eyeshadow roulette. Probably won't hit pan for a couple of months, um, but I just like to have a designated liner shade to go for, you know, and I use it every single time. I probably will pop this out too and put it in my... Um, little Z palette and if I do that I might end up putting my um, setting shade in there too we'll just see what ends up working best for me but yeah I'm going to roll that in so I have a liner shade I have an inner corner shade I have a lid setting shade and I have one kind of like gold you know like more like lid um, shimmer shade so I definitely can make a look out of all those shades in itself um, but I also think that I have plenty of flexibility. So that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear from you what you are panning. If you are documenting your project pans on Instagram or here on YouTube, please let me know so I can go support you. 
Um, and that's going to be it for me. So thank you for putting up with me and all these coughing breaks, but um, I did still want to update you and kind of start these new goals. So that's going to be it for me today, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.